Okay, so here we've got this time the skirt with the with the raised uh, waist, or we've raised the top of the skirt well above the um, the waist level, and again it's been finished off with a, a facing. So the construction of this would be again to sew the darts on the back and the front, insert the zip into the back, join up the centre back seam, sew the side seams, then join the side seams of the facings, join them onto the top of the skirt and understitch them. So as you can see, I've drawn around my back and front skirt block. I've marked in where the darts are. So what I want this time is to have the top edge of the, the skirt coming five centimetres above where the waist level is. So I'm just going to again take my pattern master here and while well, I'm back I need to take my lovely black pen. Can't find it so I've got to use a blue one. So I'm just marking in five centimetres here. So I'm increasing this by five. Now one of the things you've got to be aware of, the waist is the smallest you know, it's the narrowest part of the body torso. So, whenever you go further up the, the, the weight, the, go up the body, the width becomes wider, your girth becomes much wider. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm taking, and I'm, I'm actually using the spots and crosses on my paper here to help me square things off. So I'm, I'm actually squaring up here from the side seam of the skirt and I have drawn straight up there. So from the ends of the darts I'm also squaring up. Now I'm going to mark these in in pencil so you can see the difference. Again I'm using the spots and crosses on the paper to help me here and that's why they're there so you don't have to square everything but whenever you lay your draw around your block you must make sure you you know you, it is square on the on the spots and crosses so i'm just measure i'm just doing a little curve a little line at the top of the skirt here in fact almost like mirroring now as i said we're actually increasing, we're increasing the length of the garment up the body. So at this part at the side seam, the body starts to come back out again. So I want you to, from that line there, I want you to measure out five millimetres. I'm putting on five millimetres here, adding on five millimetres, and I'm so can you see guys how the skirt goes in at the waist, nips in at the waist and it comes back out again. Now if we just sew these darts up perfectly straight again it'll be very tight around the body. So I want you to measure in approximately two millimeters in and the dart becomes this strange shape. So I'm measuring in here two mils. I know what two mils looks like, so I can just literally, I don't need to measure, I know what two mils looks like. So these are now my darts. Can you see they're beginning to look like the darts on the dress block? So now what I would do, I would oh, obviously I've got to do exactly the same thing in the, the front, but I would cut this out and add on seam allowances. I'm just going to very quickly do this in the front so that you can see what I'm doing again. So I'm measuring up five centimetres here. And from the side seam there of the skirt, I'm just measuring up straight five centimetres. And then I measure out towards the side seam 
five mils. And finish off the waist of the skirt here. So from the, the ends of the darts, I'm actually squaring up straight. That's vital that you do that. And then, I should have done that in pencil actually, then you measure in two mils and re-mark in the darts. So, drawing around the, the waist of the skirt. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to cut this out and add on seam allowances. So I've drawn around the back of the skirt as you can see here and I've added on my seam allowances. I'm going to put an invisible zip into the centre back of this skirt so I'm going to add a centimetre seam there on the centre back, centimetre up at the top edge of the skirt, side seam and again it's straight in the bottom so I'm adding a two centimetre hem. Now we can't put a waistband onto this skirt so we've got to do another facing. So what I've got to do here is take another bit of paper. Oh, it's a rather big bit as you can see. And I'm going to trace off that top section there. Okay. So in actual fact, and then I'm, so I've, I trace off the, the pattern. But what I do is I trace off these sections here. So I've got them marked with... So I'm going to highlight them here of what I'm tracing. I'm tracing off the sections I'm marking here in blue. I'm tracing off, I'm, again I don't want to have darts in the facing, so I'm tracing off these sections. So I'm going to trace them off. Well again, I've already done this, and I've done that in card so that you can you can see it and you're not getting confused with the spots and crosses. Once again, make sure you mark on where the center back is. I've traced off each one of the sections. I've already done that. Oh, that's upside down. So you can see if I put my little weights on there. There's my sections and that's exactly what I'm tracing off. Would it be possible to get a real close up of that mark? Okay, so I've got my sections traced off. So what I've got to do now is take and create my facing. So I literally physically do it here by drawing around the sections I've just traced off. Butting the bits together and the pattern will take on quite a different shape from the, goes into like a curved shape. Tracing off the sections. And that becomes my facing. So I've already, I've already created the facing already. So I've, tr I've cut that out now. So there is the facing for the back of that skirt. So make sure you mark on the centre back. Okay, so what I've done here again, I've taken the pattern um, and I've drawn around it with the raised up um, top edge of the skirt, centimetre seam, the same as what we have in the back on the waist, or the top edge that is now, right? Because that's really the waist of the skirt. This is the top edge of the skirt. S centimetre in the side seam and two on the hem. So, once again, it's exactly the same procedure. I take and I trace off the sections. Okay, exactly the same as what we did here. So I'm tracing off the sections. I'll just mark them again with the blue, with the blue pen so you can see exactly what I've, I'm tracing off. And I've numbered them as well, because sometimes if you don't put numbers on them, you'll get confused what bits go where. So, I've traced them off and I've literally I lay it down in another piece of paper 
which I've already done, and spot them together, and that becomes the facing for my skirt. Right, there it is there, basically. I've just really drawn round it and cut out, cut out the facing. So there's my facing for the front of the skirt. Once again, I don't want a seam on the front, so I've got, uh, I've cut it out in the fold, as you can see. And if I move all those little bits and bobs out of the way, I've cut out this pattern here on the, on the fold as well. But what you need to remember what to, to do, guys, is drill a hole. Um, the bottom of the dart, this section here, these little bits here, and then notches at the top. At the top. Because what you've got to do is like, fold those over. Um, and it's almost sewing like the same as the darts that you have on a dress block. So one of the things that's vital you do in pattern cutting, guys, is take your patterns and make sure the seams that are sewn together are completely matching. And that's completely matching. And I'm putting a balance notch here at the waist. So there, that's how to uh, raise up the top edge of a skirt from the waist by five centimetres and create a facing.